Ben, welcome to the program. Thanks for chatting. Thanks, Camilla. All right, now you created this amazing masterpiece behind us. Isn't it amazing? <gasps> so how did you do it? Very different color collection. Yeah, there's a few tools I use for this. There's mm -hmm. brushes, palette knives. Also been known to use my hands. The colors uh, that I use are often neon, as you can see, very mm. bright, uh, yeah. which uh, represents the sort of person that I am. A little bit crazy, a little bit colourful, and I think Sydney reflects that. Where do you get your inspiration from? Having grown up in Sydney, uh, I've worked in a lot of the iconic buildings uh, that are around us now, the Opera House, of Centre Point Tower, and just being around Sydney Harbour and living here and enjoying the, the quality of life we have. I have always been involved in art. A lot of my work has been self-taught and being inspired and, and just trying different techniques, and I, I think that is the key for any artist not being being afraid to, to step out of your comfort zone. It's a very challenging industry and we shouldn't look at it financially. It should be more about your personal passion towards it and, and how you're going to just grow as an artist and, and develop and, and be happy in that sense first and then I think the rest will follow. So this is your favorite painting? I believe so, yes. Okay. Tell us a bit about it. It's very, very well compiled. There's so many different textures, isn't it? Okay, well, I, I did a Coca-Cola sign a few years ago, and I fell in love with the place when I was living there. The vibrancy of it all. In the cross, yes, yeah, obviously the Coke sign, and mm -hmm. um, the darkness of the cross, and also the lightness, and I think there's a combination there. It's very texturized, mm -hmm. and there's a smokiness about it. This was um, an earlier work of yours, and that, uh, that's also quite vibey and bright. This is now uh, McMahon's Point. Uh, it has a lot of uh, carvings and uh, different methods I've used to create such a colorful background and quite a mixed bag this one we've got some pastels got some oils we've got even got some glitter in there and art is very subjective and, and if people don't like it who cares exactly. you know like, really wouldn't be sydney without glitter <laughs> glamorous glitter of sydney i obviously do work for a living as well and i i have to earn some money to to pay for all this stuff and i love spending money on art and it's it's expensive hobby but uh I truly feel euphoric. So what kind of work do you do? So I do high profile events around Sydney. And this one is, is where I'm at now. It's, it's, a, it's a bit crazy, it's colourful. Yeah, that's definitely my favourite. Thank you so much, Ben. That was Thanks brilliant. Thanks so much, Colin. Again, here we are at Tap Gallery on the corner of Palmer and Burton Street, Darlinghurst. With me, I've got Ian. Ian, welcome. Welcome, Daniel. Nice to, nice to be here. I used to be exhibiting other artists as I had me... Uh, own art gallery in Balmain. We also before had the pleasure of interviewing Benjamin, which is one of um, one of your sons? Just my only son, yes. Here we go. And obviously you would have seen some of his colourful work, actually been a great mentor to him. I never pushed him. It's in him. It's in the Howe family. I was professionally trained as a commercial artist. That's how I started. You get an opportunity to learn something, you learn it because you never know when you need it. Exactly. Especially when times are hard, you don't get a job in one field, you're in another one and you keep soldiering on. What about this gorgeous painting? Norman Lindsay, his painting influenced this one like sirens. Do you love working with such vibrant colours or do you find that changes as you evolve that, as well? That goes with the mood, whatever you're in. Your passion now, how are you expressing your art now, like is this the latest work? No, no, this is uh, quite an early work, this one. My latest work's the uh, Harbour Bridge on New Year's Eve. Dealing in the dark shadows and tones, that is a real challenge because if you don't get your tones right, no matter what subject it is, it won't look any good. I'm always looking for something different, a challenge. Give me a five, good to be alive. It is good to be alive. I grew up in New Guinea. That was a fantastic time in my life and that's when I started my art, inspired by the tribal people, the New Guineans. Great to have you on the show. It's been a pleasure, Daniel. And all the best. Okay. Keep painting and keep expressing your art. It's a great life. Bye for now. Bye. Media Demo.